Today I have a very interesting twist on a Goodwill thrifting haul. Um, I decided to pull things that were sort of odd and unique and sort of abstract from my traditional minimalist uh, mid-century buys and I thought it would be rather interesting. I purchased some things but I also had some things that I purchased some time ago that I never really got to share with you guys. They're things that I just loved and adored and just kept in my personal collection and never really shared um, online. So I gathered those things um, as well as a few of the pieces that I purchased this week and I wanna share them with you guys. So let's get right into it. So I'm gonna start with the pieces that I purchased yesterday. This cool piece I found yesterday. It's not exactly odd or anything, but I found that the shape was kind of odd and really unique and interesting. Um, this is marked Savora. There's a stamping down in there. And it's a little tea kettle. Um, it's porcelain, and I just thought that this shape was just really, really cool. And it was one of the first pieces I found when I came into the store, and that's what really kind of made me want to do another video. I was like, you know what, if I find other interesting odd things, and this would be a nice spin on my usual, you know, thrift with me um, at the Goodwill videos. So, found this guy. And there were a few other things there that I almost purchased, but then upon looking them over, they had some chips and some cracks. So I was like a little disappointed. So that was the only piece I found at that first Goodwill. Then my daughter and I decided to go to an antique shop. We were looking for some random things for her apartment. And I stopped at one of our favorite antique shops and I came across this gorgeous, gorgeous travertine tray. Um, it is marked Italian. It's marked Vero Travatino Italiano, made in Italy. And there's like another mark down on there. And guys, I can't even tell you how just over the moon I was when I found this because these are so hard to find. They're so coveted right now. I'm, I have several of these trays in marble. I have some travertine ones, and this guy was only $10 um, at the antique place that I shop at. And to be honest with you, it didn't even have a price tag on there. One of the other dealers had to phone the dealer who owned this piece, and he's like, yeah, $10. And I was like, ah. <laughs> So this came home with me. Same dealer, I found this right next to an eye, and I felt like this was just such a beautiful combination. This is an onyx, and you guys have known that I've seen a lot of these and I have presented a lot of these. My last video, I actually had some candlesticks. Um, and I do believe this is a candlestick. This is what they marked it as, as a candlestick. And it actually has, let's see if I can pull it out. It has like a little tea light candle in there. So, uh, but I think it's really beautiful. And you guys know, these are my tones. And I just really, really love, look at this pattern. Oh, it's so good. So gorgeous. This one was $13 and I think I got 20% off on it. So yeah, I know. <laughs> I find a lot of great, interesting things. But you know, guys, People will say, how do you find all of these things? I'm like, you have to go to the stores a lot. It has to be part of a routine. This is part of my channel, so this is something that I have to do. I mean, I don't have to do it, but I love to do it. Thrifting is, it just makes me happy. I, it's almost like looking for treasure, and that's basically what you're doing. You're looking for treasure. So going into the stores and just looking behind shelves and boxes and things, it really, you know, it, it excites me. To some people, they just don't have the patience for it. And that's another thing. You have to have the patience for it because if you don't have patience for it, you're going to get easily frustrated and not really find good things because it takes time. Every once in a great blue moon, you can walk right in and right on the shelves, it could be just something just gorgeous sitting there waiting for you. But most of the time, the really good things are either hidden or they're just, put in a box somewhere. I'm seriously, the, the best things I found are always things were tucked in the back or just behind something um, or wrapped in something. So sometimes you have to open boxes, you have to sort of push things around. That's how you find the good things. I do that with clothing too. So when I vintage shop for my clothing, 
um, I find that you have to really go through every rack because you never know. I found designer labels um, that I wouldn't have found if I was just looking for a certain color or a certain type of you know texture. You have to really go through a lot of the things to find those gems. All right, so moving along. Okay, I wanna show you some pieces that I had purchased maybe about a month or so ago and I never really got to share with you guys, but I found that they were odd and rare and just really unique that made the cut for today's video. I'm gonna start with this guy. What does it remind you of? I mean, off the bat, it, sh it reminded me of a heart. I mean, I'm sure you're getting that. It's an actual vase. Could be brutalist, I'm not sure. But I was intrigued by its shape and its dark color. I felt like it was very abstract and just so different. And you're trying to figure out what is it? And it's a great conversation piece when people come to your house and they're like, what is that? And so, yeah, I bought it. And I believe this was like maybe $10. It does have a few like little marks, like some cracks right here, but nonetheless, no one's gonna see that. And I think it's super cool. The shape is just, just cool. So yeah, I got this guy. Okay, I had found this in one of my buying trips out in Lancaster, PA. This is a teak abstract, I wanna say vase. And I say vase because I believe that they used to put succulents in here, um, which makes total sense. I mean, you could use it as a pen holder on a desk, like I can totally rock it and put it right on my desk here. Sorry guys, if the camera angle or lighting looks weird, my phone just died, so I had to recharge. So we're back and we were talking about this little teak piece being from the 70s and being a planter. And I just loved it. I love a lot of these wood pieces. I actually bought something similar to this about two years ago um, and I have it up on one of my shelves. So I thought this was really cool, very interesting, super unique. Um, the shape is completely oddball. Um, yeah, so right now it's been sitting in my garage and I would probably pull this out more towards the spring and summer when I'm planting and, you know, I have a little bit more green in the home. Um, okay, the next piece I absolutely love. You guys may have seen this, oh, maybe a year ago, maybe two, I think that's how old it is. Um, in one of my local antique shops, I found this gorgeous soapstone abstract figurine and it is quite heavy it is marked you know believe it or not i i found the name of this not that long ago i for some reason i just never saw the name it's v glinsky i don't know if you guys can see probably not but it's like right there um and it's just of a woman just laying down on couch <laughs> I'm laying down on something laying down on us some kind of like seat and it looks a lot darker on camera but it's like a dark beige color it looks almost greenish on the camera but it's not and I just fell in love with the fact that it was so abstract but you can still make out what it is and here's the back so these are just natural um, patina from the stone and guys, this is so cool. I've had this on my mantle. This this piece has been like all over my house. It started out on the mantle and made its way to a shelf. Then it made its way to the back room. Currently it's in my garage because I'm alternating and rotating all of my decor pieces. So I don't have this on display, but I pulled it out to show you guys that this was one of those unique sort of abstract pieces um, that really went well with today's video. So, and I'm not sure if I really showed it or not. I think I might've showed it on Instagram, but never really showed it in a video. So here she is. All right, guys, the next piece I got, I'm trying to think where I got this piece. I found this piece in Philly in one of the antique shops out there. And it is, I'm sure you can make out it's a bird type and it's made of wood and it's actually a box and I thought that it was just really interesting and unique 
I was buying a lot of the wood pieces when I was designing my back room. That's a little bit more on the Japandi side, very wabi-sabi. You guys saw a video where I was, um, where I bought that long, long um, wooden table. I bought this at the same time, but I just never showed it. And so my whole idea was to buy like wooden little treasures and like do another shelving, but I never did the shelf. So I kind of left the walls very, minimal and um but i had this guy and i didn't want to get rid of it because i thought it was so cool um it's just like this little antique box and it's so unique there's no markings as to where it is i believe it was handmade um probably in india and it's just a really super cool unique <laughs> abstract if you will little box yeah. so i found these antique hand-blown um bud vases and they're all various size i don't know if you guys can see i'll pull them back here all right i'm gonna have to hold them up but you guys can you guys can see here and they are just so unique so different i'm gonna have to give them a good cleaning just to get whatever was in there out of there um and shine them up but I thought that these were just so delicate and so minimal. As you guys know, I love minimal decor and I just plan on putting like one stem in each of these and I'm excited. I'm excited to style these. I think they are just absolutely beautiful. Um, not sure where they are from. It just says hand blown glass and yeah. I am so excited. I think these are so, so pretty and odd and different. So guys, this haul was very short, very sweet. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I tried to do a little twist on some things that you probably would not have expected me to buy, but I actually did. And I had a lot of fun um, buying these pieces. And so guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. I do lots of Goodwill hauls, I do DIYs, I do a lot of home styling. So if that is the content you love to binge watch, then I invite you to subscribe to this channel. Guys, I wanna thank you so much this week for watching and I'll see you in my next video soon.